What's up everyone? Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my kitchen. My name is Brandy and in this video I'm going to be showing you some recent home decor purchases that I've made for my kitchen. And also I'm gonna be talking about some restoration hardware dupes or lookalikes or DIYs that you can add to your home to give it that restoration hardware look or upscale feel. So if you like these kinds of videos, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment and subscribe to my channel. But without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so to start off, welcome to my kitchen. I wanted to show you guys a few kitchen items that I've recently purchased. Zach and I have slowly been getting rid of kind of our junky items and replacing them with more timeless items that we'll have forever that are better quality. We would buy a lot of cheap crap and now it's just time to get some long-term items long-term pieces. So I only have a couple, um, first being this pancake warmer and tortilla warmer. So we do tacos a lot, a lot, a lot. And I just thought, you know what we need, cause one of us is always standing on the stove, constantly warming up tortillas. So when Studio McGee, when she shared this on her Instagram, I immediately bought it and had to have it because I thought it would be the perfect piece to add to our collection, to our future home. And it's porcelain, it's beautifully made. It really works. It's absolutely stunning. You could keep it out on your countertops or put it away, but it just is so beautiful. And I really didn't want one of those plastic, not, not that there's anything wrong with it, but my purpose was to elevate our home and get pieces that we would have forever. So when I saw this, I had to have it. The next thing that I got is this mortar and pestle. I believe that's what they're called, or mocha if that if I'm not butchering that either. And I loved this one because of the feet, the leg detailing. I did have another one, but I just wanted something that was going to be a conversation starter and that was gonna look a little bit more, if you know me and if you ever come to my house and the more that I show you guys home decor stuff, I love textures and I love interesting pieces. and the legs and the handmade look of this particular piece just sold me i had to have it the other one i had was it had legs but it was just a little bit more clean edged and i had to have this it was so beautiful exactly it fit my aesthetic exactly and it was actually very affordable the one that i replaced it with which i still have but the one i replaced it with was from Amazon for the exact same price. And this one's Crate and Barrel. Had to have it, it was so beautiful. And then the next item that I wanna share with you guys is just some wooden spoons. Now, these ones are just from Target, but I think that they are, they look really, really nice. The shape of them looks high-end or even handmade. They look like I could have purchased them on like an Etsy shop, they were only $8. I had to share these with you guys because I just thought that they were the perfect piece to add to your home to give it that like aged, lived in look that wasn't too, too modern. Now for a couple of modern pieces, a lot of my home is vintage or worn, things like that and I really like that look but I do love to incorporate some modern pieces. Now these um, were sent to me by Kui Designs and she sent these to me to photograph and I just really love the clean lines that they add and they really help bring in some modern to my house and really help, I guess, tone down some of the wood, some of the natural elements these are just so beautiful. They almost have this like silky feeling to them. I love them so much. Everything that I'm mentioning will be tagged below, but these were the perfect modern touch that I needed to kind of, like I said, tone down all the vintage, tone down all the worn kind of look and feel things that I have. If you've seen some of my past videos, I'm a big texture person, so this was the perfect balance that I needed, and I love them. I've put olive twig in here. You can put bunny tails or um, pompous grass, whatever you want in these. They're so beautiful, they're so modern, and they're really, really clean looking, so I love these. 
Okay, the next item is actually a DIY that I did. I saw on Instagram this cement bowl. So I recreated it, but I put a candle in it. The one that I saw didn't have a candle. I just melted down some old um, Ikea candles that I had, reused the wicks, threw it in this bowl, and it is, ab it looks like it's from Pottery Barn. It's absolutely stunning. Probably one of my favorite pieces that I have in my house right now. I don't know if I'm gonna burn it. I could burn it and just redo it again, but I love this. It's so beautiful, it's concrete, it's super heavy, and it's really easy to make. So, so, so beautiful. So you know, especially if you follow me, I'm going to pull out some vintage. So this is one of the first items that I'm gonna show you that I think really gives that restoration hardware look. Restoration hardware to me is definitely modern, but has that like almost European, lived in, very comfortable look. So I'm constantly trying to recreate restoration hardware in my own home, in my own way that's affordable for me. So this piece I found on an Instagram account, I will link them below, but this was exactly what I was looking for. Restoration hardware has big, huge pots. This one's small, um, but they are so much money. This, I will say, will cost you a little bit more. It's not that much less expensive than restoration hardware, to be honest, but the look is just absolutely breathtaking. It's vintage handmade clay. I just love it. It's so beautiful. I put olive twigs in this and it's just absolutely stunning. I can't get over it. It's exactly what I was looking for. I wanted like the cute little handles and I was looking at one on Pinterest, but it was a few hundred dollars. It was a large size. This one's a small, obviously, but I just thought, you know what? I'm gonna get this one. I wanted it for my coffee table. It's perfect. It really helps balance out all of the modern that I have going on in my coffee table and all the candles. So. I loved it. This is probably one of my favorite pieces that I've purchased. And it definitely gives that almost like well-traveled look of a home. So I really, really, really love this. Okay, so the next piece, it's a little awkward to hold, is this, it's kind of the same concept as the clay pot that I just showed you, but this one's obviously not old. This one I actually picked up from CB2, but it definitely has that age kind of vintage look for less. This pot was $20, it's absolutely beautiful, and I really like that it gives that like antique vintage look without the antique vintage price tag. Okay, so those are some of my recent purchases that I've made or the cooies, those were sent to me, but I wanted to incorporate a few other items that I've had for a while or that I've DIY'd to give that restoration hardware look so that the next time that you're out shopping or you're out looking for these pieces, you can kind of spot them and add them to your own home. The favorite thing about a home is when you walk in and it looks like it's just developed over time, that it's been well-traveled and that it isn't just another home that every piece is purchased from Target or Pottery Barn or things like that, which there's nothing wrong with that, but just for me and my personal style, I really love the look of a lived-in, well-traveled home. And that's the look that I try to achieve personally. So a few of the items I will start with, actually I'll start with two items that I'm gonna have to um, show the camera, like do a voiceover, but vintage mirrors with kind of gold detailing. This one was gifted to us um, from my husband's parents, but these I see a lot, a lot at antique stores and they're not really like inexpensive, but you can find them for less than you'll find them at Restoration Hardware. But these definitely give that lived in, well-traveled, well-aged home look that's very, very high-end and very elegant in my opinion. And I do think that these mirrors work with a lot of different styles, whether that's boho, whether that's super elegant, whether it's modern, whatever kind of look, I feel like you can pull off one of these mirrors. 
And then the other item that I wanted to share with you guys is this extra large vintage dough bowl. Now, my vision for this is to have it on our dining table once we buy our house, but for now I just have it leaned up next to our TV and I really love it. Everyone who comes over talks about how big it is, but I love it. It's absolutely beautiful and I can't get over how big it is. I've also thought about putting it in an entryway, filling it with like throw pillows, or even filling it with moss, you know, different things like that. But I love this piece. I found it on Etsy. I'll link some below for you guys, just in case you're interested. But I can tell you that it was a lot less expensive than I've even seen them at Pottery Barn. So Etsy is the place. The next item that I wanna show is this um, paper mache bowl. Now I got this for a, fruit bowl, but if you guys have ever smelt one of these, they smell really bad, just like paper mache, which I should have known, but I actually prefer it as a decor piece and Restoration Hardware does sell these, but they are quite expensive. So I'm gonna link some options for you guys down below, but I think I paid like, I can't remember, but it was a lot less than Restoration Hardware by a lot. So this will definitely give you that texture, that lived in look, that kind of like these items have been passed down to you and they're just gonna last forever. And one thing about me, I love texture. I love texture so much. I'm super attracted to it. If you follow me on Pinterest, you already know this. So this piece was perfect for me. So the next thing I wanna talk about is coffee table books. I get mine off of Amazon. I'll link these. I really love adding dark elements to my home, but I will add some light colored books that I think are absolutely stunning. But for me right now, this is, I have a few other ones, but my collection is still growing. They can be quite expensive, but Restoration Hardware is known for their coffee table books and they have the most beautiful coffee table books, but they are very pricey and you can get the exact same ones that they sell at Restoration Hardware on Amazon. So I will link a few of those for you guys as well. The next little like restoration hardware dupe that I have is a DIY that I've actually done. So I wrapped these books a long time ago in more of a gray type paper. But then what I did is I just went ahead and painted, this one I actually just painted the book straight, straight on the book. But these ones had fabric and I just painted the fabric white just to give it that restoration hardware look and feel because the gray just wasn't cutting it anymore. So I love these so, so much. And then I also have these ones, which I just wrapped in fabric because I went back into Restoration Hardware and I noticed that they had their books wrapped in fabric. And so I purchased a couple more. These ones don't really have the aged paper like the other ones, but they do still have a lot of texture. So I really, really, really love the look of both. I have, like I said, painted those so they have a little bit of a sheen, but I also really love the look of the fabric on here because it looks really, really expensive. Okay, just a couple more items. One being crystals. If you go into Restoration Hardware, you will see these crystals and you will see them that they are huge and so big, but they are so expensive, so insanely expensive where I'm like, oh, hell no, that's way too much money. Um, but I got these from the gym show here in Arizona, but you can find these at vintage stores and you can also find them at Home Goods. This is so heavy, so I'm going to set it down. But if you have been into a restoration hardware, you will notice that they really love to decorate with those elements. Now the last item that I'm gonna mention is a vintage piece as well, but more so because I wanted to show you guys the scale of it. This little riser that I have is massive. I got this vintage, but I wanted to mention this because if you can see how big it is, one common mistake that I see a lot is when people are designing, and I'm guilty of this too, especially when you have like a really large piece to design, 
Sometimes people will do lots of little tiny little things and every time I go into restoration hardware, I notice how they scale their pieces. They will have one or two extremely large pieces on their coffee tables or their consoles or their you know boards, anything like that, or sideboards, um, credenzas, all of that. They have really large pieces, and for me, it's extremely important to scale to size whatever you're decorating. So that's why I wanted to show you guys that last piece. Yes, it is vintage, and I've seen similar pieces like these at Restoration Hardware, but also when you are decorating a space, just be mindful of how big or little the space is and the items that you're trying to decorate with because it may just be that you are having a hard time decorating it but you just might might need like a larger piece to add to that area or smaller or you know whatever those are the items that i wanted to share with you guys today all of these items i have found for extremely affordable prices you just have to hunt i'm going to leave you guys some links down below where you can get this similar look for less everything that i can link directly i will link for you but the next time that you're out and you want to get that restoration hardware look i hope you're able to use some of these pieces or tips to really elevate your home give it that warm feeling that you want and really have more of that timeless feel. So I hope this video was helpful and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.